Yo, what is happening, little lizards? It's your boy Lemon after a patch back at it again. And boy, 100,000 channel views, man. What the flipping heck, man? I'm not even gonna lie. I really was stunned to wake up to that this morning. Unfortunately, I waited until 12 o'clock the next morning to uh, address it, but that's because I was doing a lot of rendering, a lot of editing with Subnautica today, because obviously that's gonna be a daily series coming up. So, just letting you guys know, dude, well, I can't even explain how ecstatic that is to see a hundred thousand views come in on my channel. You know, the start of this year was absolutely freaking horrible, by the way. You know, a lot of people started to become inactive on my channel, and it wasn't until the last three months or so that it really kicked back up into high gear. And I really do not know where to begin with that, because obviously there was a time where my channel was... I had a thousand subs and sitting at like 11,000 views. So to see it increase by almost 90,000 views within like a year and a half is absolutely insane. And obviously there's a lot of people that I need to thank for that, but I'll get into that in a few minutes because first of all, I just need to thank you guys for giving me the opportunity to do this. Unfortunately, I'm still not monetized because YouTube decided to be douchebags and say, hey, you don't have 4,000 4, hours of watch time in 12 months. Shut up. I have over... 3,800, so come on, just give it to me, but that's not even what I was about, like, some of you guys have already noticed that I changed my description a little bit on the, on the channel, to say that I'm a lot more about just being quality over quantity, and a lot more just for funny content, that is exactly how I feel right now, dude, like, honestly, to sit, be sitting here and thanking you guys for 100,000 views, it, it's such a big milestone, considering the fact that it's a six-figure it's not five figure it's not four figure it's not three figures it is six figures that is your first step to almost a million views so like i don't know why or how i've gotten to this point but i'll tell you right now without some of these people that i'm about to mention there is no freaking way i would even be able to be saying this actual video going on at this moment so let's get into it so the first person i have here some of you guys know him it will be my boy nate dog Unfortunately, Nate Dog fell off as a YouTuber, but me and him kind of had beef when we first started YouTube, or at least when I had 400. I had about 400 times when I met him, and he was about 75. Anyway, through me and Nate kind of arguing, we kind of settled our differences, and we became really good friends over the years, and I've helped him really build up his channel a little bit by giving him advice, giving him some stuff to use, become just who he's meant to be. He tries to be too much like me, I even think. A lot of people have even told me that. <laughs> but Nate, Nate Dog is just trying to be successful. Like, at the time when me and Nate were becoming really good friends, I was being really successful on the platform. I, I literally went from 400 to 1,000 within that time. So, definitely some stuff that I was able to give to him and make sure that he was doing everything right and not being Lemon Raptor. <laughs> make sure he's being Nate Dog. So, but without Nate, I don't think I would be where I'm at today because a lot of his subs were giving me shit at the time. And it was also bringing me a lot more views, which I'm not trying to say was right or wrong, but they were definitely helping me get to this position. And unfortunately, Nate Dog kind of fell off from the YouTube world, but he is at half a thousand subs, so go sub to him, help him get to a thousand. And I mean, he deserves it, man. He works his butt off on everything he does. I mean, He's a good guy, very good person, and I think he should get back into the YouTube scheme of things and start doing more videos with Papa Emin, man. Papa Emin. <laughs> but yeah, he was the first person that I truly like met on YouTube, As far, but besides the next couple that actually have had a lot more influence on Lemon Raptor as opposed to him. The next two people that you guys definitely know, and I know this because the gay kid on Fortnite is one of the most popular videos on my channel right next to it is a good one is the gay kid on minecraft yes i'm talking about red thunder and shadow strike now red thunder or i oh my god i'm ronnie it has been a massive impact to lemon raptor not even just generating a lot of positive mental attitude for the channel but also just generating a lot of good quality support and good morals a lot of good stuff out of him like he's a very funny guy i think he deserves more support than he gets but he never gets it and it's kind of sad to watch him like kind of just sit there and be a part of lemon raptor but not get any like love and support for all the stuff that he's done and that's kind of what i'm doing right now is trying to give him some love and support for everything that he's done i mean without red i wouldn't even have a thousand subs like he is the re absolute reason him and shadow strike both of the absolute reason that i have a thousand and it's because they did a lot of supporting 
uh, they also spread the word about my channel saying that he was really close to a thousand so can you guys help him there and then one night when I was on Skype with them it happened so it was crazy and we've been good friends ever since I mean red red and I still do videos to this day we're still gonna be doing a lot of arc Ragnarok coming up uh, we just I haven't gotten around to it because first of all Subnautica is my main preference my main priority we've always been over this Subnautica is my baby and arc will definitely be a good third to it because obviously Fortnite's my second so but yeah uh ron is definitely a really good guy so is shadow they both deserve a lot more credit than they get and i think i should show them people where credit is due because without them i definitely would not hit a hundred thousand views not to mention i definitely wouldn't be sitting at a thousand plus subs without them so they are definitely somebody that deserves a lot of credit for getting me to where i'm at and ron and shadow have also just been amazing uh video people like they're amazing they're natural like they're very good at what they do on lemon raptor as far as fortnite videos go they're very good on any let's play that i do like they can go and mesh pretty much any video i make so that's always a good side to have with good collabs and without them i don't know where i'd be to be honest the next next two people these have been these two have probably been my closest friends that i can trust outside of california for the longest time i mean julio i love you bro you're kind of gay but i still love you man i'm talking about Dottie and then angel run it up okay dotty dotty to me he's kind of like he's kind of reminds me so much of myself like dotty is basically me but with a deeper voice like that's where emin comes from me and dotty invented emin like, oh, man. if you guys remember that i started doing that back in like 2016 like if you haven't seen that i think the very first video i did with Dotty and run it up had ermin in it i might link that down in the description because i do believe that was the very first time i ever said emin and it's just been a thing for the last three and a half years it's freaking ridiculous not to mention run it up dude run it up is probably one of the guys that I, when Dotty and i weren't playing together all the time because Dottie obviously got busy with his girlfriend and he also just was busy with school and didn't want to play xbox you know run it up was always a good guy to play xbox with and not to mention run it up like i said is much like ron and shadow they're he's a very good guy that you can just benefit and put in any video and you know it's gonna be a banger like a video with me by myself yeah it's good if i but i have to do more work to edit it run it up like, if you guys seen the video, Torturing Default Skins version 3.0, you guys know that last bit of that video wouldn't have been even funny without Run It Up. Run It Up definitely made that funny. It's because me, him, and Dottie have that same sense of humor, and we're just very dumb with each other. And that's kind of something that really adds to the video that I make, and it really helps people, like, you say, hey, I'm going to give this guy another chance. Some people have actually subscribed from Run It Up and Dottie and even ron a lot of people have subscribed just from me collaborating with people that i know very well i grew up with a little bit like dotty and angel i grew up with them basically even though we never went to actual school together we are basically a good homie since the xbox 360 days like 2011 2012 i think is when i met dotty and then i met angel uh, shortly after that so without them definitely don't know where lemon raptor would be again it's just like the other two i've already mentioned he those two really just add a lot of positive and just dumb stuff to these uh, videos and it just adds for the awesome funny stuff that we always get to do with them so it's always a good plus so moving on the next person i have to, to bring up is going to be captain kitten Jaden and i don't really record videos together anymore well that's just because i'm always doing a lot of stuff with xbox and he's kind of not recording right now he basically hit 100 subs and then lost out like a couple days he's four away from 100 again guys so somebody go help this man out he deserves it this, like i think Jaden, when i found him well, i was casually like searching through youtube one day looking for like first play commentators so i can collaborate with more people because around the time i also met varix but we'll get into him in a minute and when i when i found his channel i saw I saw a lot of stuff that I could actually like, make great. And without trying to sound, oh, I'm all that and all that. No, that's not what I'm trying to say. I I really wanted to take uh, Jaden in and make him who he could be. You know, he, he thinks that he doesn't have a potential career in uh, YouTube, but he never pursues it. I'm I always tell him, or at least I try to tell him, I was like, bro, you got to do more. 
you can't just uh, be a meme channel all the time. Like PewDiePie owns that fucking that shit. You know that. Everybody knows it. But when I met Jaden, at the same time, that's when I was bringing Fire Onyx, who I've kind of fell off from Lemon Raptor for a while because Fire Onyx uh, decided it was a good idea to be himself, go with XGN, you know. He's a great friend. He's still a cool person to do videos with today. But Jaden was one of those guys that have has stuck by Lemon Raptor for a while, or myself. And I, I think Jaden deserves more credit than he gets, even though he doesn't really bring so much to the table. He does bring a lot of good support, and he has good morals for being who he is. And I think he deserves a lot more support for being a kid-friendly channel, because, I mean, people gotta give people a chance, man, you know? I gave Jaden a chance. I gave this, uh, this guy a lot of respect. Because when I when I came across him as a YouTuber, he had about maybe 30 to 40 subs. I shot him up, like, without even trying to sound like a dick or anything. I really boosted Jaden because I gave him advice. I posted a l couple videos with him, not to mention with him and Onyx. So that definitely boosted some morale there. So Because obviously he did uh, point of views from his side. So obviously people are going to want to see other people's point of views. I know this. I do this with Vanoss' videos and all that and Wildcats and all them. So I can see different points of views, and that's the same thing there. When I tell Nate Dog to do this, he doesn't do well. He does it, but he doesn't ever upload it, and that's kind of something that Jaden did that really helped him boost a lot. And without Jaden, again, I don't think I'd be here because, like I said, I met the, met him, and I brought him up to be a little bit more professional with what he did, at least so I like to say. I mean, plus I'm not gonna lie, I gave this man a full version of Bandicam because his Bandicam went to shit when I also when I found him, and I gave him the full version so he could be who he's supposed to be nowadays. And unfortunately, he doesn't have the editing software or Adobe Photoshop for thumbnails. I wouldn't mind giving that to him as well so he can be great, but. Let's be honest, I don't see Jaden continuing YouTube. If he does, uh, I'm definitely here for him. But, I mean, like I said, he's definitely one of the people that helped me get to where I'm at today. Anyway, moving on. I already mentioned this uh, guy. Where to begin with Varix? Not gonna lie, me and Varix are not on the best of terms. At least, I like to say. Varix, to me, is too much of a hothead right now. And I, I, I did a lot of videos that were Gmod related with Varix. Because Varix isn't much of a Fortnite player, and that's kind of something else that kind of just divided me away from him a little bit. Because Varix is more for Dead by Daylight. Like, I have Dead by Daylight on my computer, but I just don't have the patience to play it. And Varix, to me, just... I don't know, man. Like, when I came across Varix, he had about 100 subs. And now he's at, sitting at, like, 1.1k now. Something like that. So, he's definitely made an impact on the world. But Varix and I did a, lot, a couple Gmod videos, and... He definitely blew me up a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Like, I got some of his subs to come over to me. I got some of mine to go over to him. And it was just that collab feeling. You know, you get that good mesh going. You find people that you like to do videos with. Varix, I love to do videos with. But because right now, I'm just not feeling it with him anymore. It's the same thing with the rest of the crew. that I used to do a lot of Gmod videos with that I'll get into in a second. But Varix is the main reason I don't do videos with them anymore. And I'm not saying that I would never do videos with them again, but because of the fact that it's just, like, so far out, I don't see it happening, and I definitely just don't see myself with that brand. And my, my channel's always been mainly about Fortnite and Subnautica and Ark, basically, so it's definitely something that I kind of wish I had still with those guys, because I wish Varix was in the games that I liked, and I definitely wish I could do stuff with him still as much as he's grown, but he definitely deserves every moment that he's gotten. And he definitely deserves a lot of the support that he's gotten. Unfortunately, I'm in the opposite end of the table here. I've gotten a lot less support from a lot of people recently because of 2019 just being my year of graduation from high school. So basically, I had to focus on trying to get out of high school, trying to move on from life. And then now I'm trying to focus on college and, you know, it's just a fucking mess. But now I'm kind of situated with college. I'm kind of moving up in the world. And now I'm kind of getting back with YouTube because now I'm working. I'm not doing baseball anymore. Well, at least at the moment. I'm playing travel ball, but that's about it. Like, I'm not doing much with that. So it's kind of my thing with YouTube because YouTube has always been my thing. Like, YouTube is my focus. Like, YouTube is something that will pay the bills later in life if I stick with it. And a lot of people have told me that. And Varix was one of those guys that did tell me that from the start. And I do appreciate that from him. Because he was always one of those guys that liked to fucking mess with me. Like, he literally... I think he was doing it because he supported me as a content creator. But, boy, I took it up the ass. I'm not gonna lie. And 
it would go with us as long with uh, Shadow or Black Widow and with uh, Wrench as well. Wrench and Black Widow followed in Barracks' steps on that, and I kind of lost them as well with them. And it's kind of unfortunate in that behalf, but I mean, it is what it is. Can't really do anything about it. Like I said, if Barracks goes back and starts doing vids with me, those two will. It's like, I'm not a bad person, they're not bad people, it's just I fell off because I do different content, and they do different content, and it just wasn't going to work out. But I, I realized that early on, so I'm kind of glad about it. So, anyway, moving on from those. Uh, the next person would be Surveil. Surveil, however, we don't know what happened to him, I think, we, I think he died. Surveil kind of fell off. Nobody knows where he's at. And Surveil was one of those guys that... I like doing a lot of videos with because he was definitely into some of the shit that I was into. He was much like Varix, but when you put me, Varix, Surveil, and Black Widow together, you have one fucking hilarious video. And Surveil, I don't know whatever happened to him. I think one day he just decided that he wasn't going to talk to anybody anymore. He doesn't have a YouTube channel anymore. And his whole just shit just fell off. But I did one particular or one or two videos with Surveil, and they were definitely GMI prop on videos. And it turned out to be one of my best collabs I've ever done. And those were also at the time with Ranch and Black Widow. But without Surveil, those videos would not have existed. Because Surveil got Black Widow and Ranch to start doing videos with me as well. It wasn't just Varix. Varix wasn't the madman, the magical magician kind of guy. It was mainly Surveil. Surveil was behind all the collabs. And I, I don't give uh, Surveil enough credit for where it's due. But the man deserves it. Like, I don't know why he quit YouTube. He had a lot of potential. Plus, he was not a bad YouTuber. He wasn't bad. But, like I said, he kind of fell off. He doesn't talk to anybody that anymore that I know of. He's not doing YouTube anymore. Nobody knows what happened to him. He just left Discord one day, and then he's just gone. He's just like, I'm out. He's just, he just disappeared. And unfor it's unfortunate, because I like Surveil. Because I think Surveil could have been a really good partner to Lemon Raptor to this day. But, like I said, without him, those two videos would never have existed on Lemon Raptor. All right, moving on. That was a big mouthful. But moving on is one of my good friends from high school. Although we've never really collabed, we've always talked about it, and he's the reason I do mod menu trolling. Without Dead Monkey XD13, who is actually the most popular channel that I collaborate or have collabs with, that I've actually done videos with, and. Although Dead Monkey is not really doing YouTube anymore because he's just busy with college, I understand it. I'm in the same boat to a degree, but I'm still persisting it. He hit 5,000 subs faster than I could even look at him. It, it, I remember when he hit 2,500, and the next thing I look at it, it's like two weeks later, he's at 5,000. So he definitely was in the same boat as me when I hit 1,000. So I think uh, Dead Monkey really inspired me to do my mod menu trolling. Which turned out to be really successful. I wish I can. I'm still gonna do more of those. Uh, I just gotta find time to do it. But he really inspired me to do that. And he also taught me how to set up the infections. Without him, I wouldn't have the infections. I wouldn't have showed you guys that. My most popular video wouldn't exist. So there's a lot of backstory between these people that I'm mentioning that actually built my views to 100,000. It's crazy. And without Dead Monkey also doing all of that. Is like Lemon Raptor wouldn't even have Call of Duty videos to this day. Well, I'd have some, but not like what I've done. I wouldn't have the anonymous trolling. Well, that's basically inspired from Lieutenant Lick Me, but I wouldn't have the mod menu trollings without him. And that's something that I really like about Dead Monkey is because he's always been a good friend to me, and I've known him since like sophomore year, and he's always been a good YouTuber, and I think he deserved a lot more credit for the building of my channel. Anyway, moving on from that, um, there's only going to be a couple more on this list, but they're honorable mentions, to be honest. Like, they deserve pr some credit, but they're not going to be, like, anything that I've actually, like, done a lot of stuff with, or, like, I've actually contributed a lot, but I'm going to go ahead and show credit where credit is due uh, for some of these people, and the first one on this list is going to be Sway. Now, Sway has only done one video with me, but it was the one with Surveil, the prop hunt, and Sway uh, gave off one of the funniest reactions I think I've ever seen from a man. And uh, the accent just made it funnier because, yeah, so, like, although Sway didn't do so much to build Lemon Raptor, he definitely had some 
parts in my videos I've actually added to funniness. And without him, I don't think I would have had that rage moment that really made a lot of people laugh. I know a lot of people love that part of that video. It's probably my favorite part of the whole freaking G mod schematic. But like I said, Sway deserves some credit for that just doing that. Like I didn't ask him to do it. <laughs> he just gave off a good reaction and it was foolproof. So anyway, moving on from that. Going on to my next person, and this person I kind of left out on the brink because obviously as I grew more in the subscriber race, I kind of fell off from him. And I, I still talk to him to this day, but I think Liam deserves some respect and credibility for what he's done just to help grow me. Like he's definitely done a lot of shouting out for Lemon Raptor. And he's been in, a, I think he's been in a couple of videos. I've met him through Nate. Which is weird because he should be on the main category, but because he hasn't really done any videos with me, or at least we've tried to do videos with him, but it just never worked out. I've never gotten enough footage or whatever the backstory was. He never was really featured on Lemon Raptor, and it's kind of unfortunate because he's a really good guy. He makes a lot of people laugh, and I think Switch really deserves to be recognized a little bit for his craft and his grinds and all that, and I think switch really deserves to be who he is but he's not given that opportunity because he's a squeaker he's not even really a squeaker anymore i mean he has kind of like he has my voice from 2017 basically like that's not a bad voice my my voice got really deep over the years and his is probably about to do the same so a lot of people don't even recognize my voice and i get mentioned this all the fucking time it's like dude your voice got deep as fuck bro what the hell happened yeah, my voice got deep. Yeah, I'm 18 years old. It should be pretty deep, you know. <laughs> but Switch is like, I think in his teens now. I think he just turned 13 or 14. He's a freshman now. And his voice is only going to get deeper. So, like I said, Switch is definitely behind the scenes kind of guy. Just like like I said with Ron and all them. They're all kind of behind the scenes or all of that kind of stuff. But Switch has definitely been around since the Nate Dog days. So... <laughs> Definitely something there that just really kicked off something between me and Nate. Because he was there before Nate, actually. I think he was there before Nate. Like, I, I, I said I met Nate through, or I met him through Nate. But I think I met Nate through Liam. Because I, I think I knew Switch a little bit before that. And when I met Nate, I, I was checking out his channel. And I didn't really like what I saw from Nate. But I was going to give him a chance. And now, obviously, I've done that after the beef we've had and all that kind of stuff. So, it's really inspiring and just amazing to see what switch has been available to do he's always ready to go if i need him he's always down for videos he's always down to be a part of the channel but unfortunately we just never get enough collabs anymore and it's kind of just like that so it's unfortunate but you know like i said i think he deserves a lot more respect than he already gets so and the last person on this list he's not really I don't think he's really an honorable mention. I think he deserves a little bit more than that. And that's my boy, BZ. You know, BZ or Quentin, I think he deserves a lot of respect. He's been... Or actually, BZ and Camden. My bad. I forgot about uh, Trips or Naked Snake. Naked Snake, I met through a Nate Dog as well. But BZ, I knew from Dottie. I knew from Run It Up. Like, we met each other all at, like, the same time. But with Trips and BZ, they were a part of, the, like, a lot of like special Fortnite lemon raptor stuff like camden was a part of the bean boozle challenge he was over there doing his talkie challenge it was freaking hilarious but like i said uh camden and bz were a part of that one episode the very second episode i ever did a Fortnite after running up and dotty did the first one in season two with me they were the very first uh people to get me back into Fortnite back in season three and we just kind of went off from there i still talk to bz to this day or Quentin. I just talked to him the other day, not gonna lie. And he's doing alright. He's doing great. Um, he used to be known as Dankus Meme, so he's kind of like Jaden a little bit. But he was even more like, worse than Jaden, I think, <laughs> as far as memes went. Because he was like, just dank. He was just dank. Not gonna lie. Trips has become a pretty much professional Fortnite player, I like to say. Uh, I think Trips has really fallen off a little bit, though, from being who he is. I still talk to him all the time on Snapchat. Um, I wish I could do more videos with him, but he's got his clan with the KSO and all that. So definitely somebody though that deserves a lot of credit for what he's done and just been a part of. So 
enough with all that. I went on ranting long enough about freaking shout outs and people who deserve them. Uh, shout outs are not something I do and I don't ask for them. I don't ever do shout outs. I'm just giving these guys shout outs because one, they really brought my channel up. They've helped me so much along the way. And I mean, you guys are all getting shout outs right now. Like I said, I thanked every single one of you basically in the beginning for 100,000 views. So like I said, those people were content creators and just behind the scenes of Lemon Raptor that really built my channel to its core. And like I said, without them, they would I would not be where I'm at today. So that's why they got shout outs. And I'm sorry for the people that have always asked me for them. Uh, to me, I've done that through Subnautica for a lot of people. Subnautica has always been my shout out series, to be honest, because I put names on lockers and all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, plus you guys don't need a shout out, to be honest, right? I mean, yeah, you want to hear your name in videos and stuff, but like, I do that with Subnautica. If you make a comment that's worth a Subnautica locker that has something to do with the series, like I said, you get put on those lockers immediately. So, definitely something you guys want to try to do within Season 4. Uh, the first video is now officially up, so season, or Episode 5 will be the very first time I actually start doing lockers this season because I've already done one through four, already rendered, already edited and everything, ready to go. Uh, two is currently being uploaded at the moment, so that's why I'm doing this. Um, three is fully rendered and edited, ready to go, so it's four. So everything is ready to go right now, guys, and episode five is going to be coming quick. So thank you guys again so much for everything. Like I said, dude, this video went on freaking long, but that's because there's so many people who have helped me get to where I'm at and just built me to my entire core as a content creator. So thank you guys again so much for 100,000 views, dude. Like I said, this is a big milestone. It's a big deal. Like I typically won't do view milestones, but because it's a six figure, my first one ever on Lemon Raptor, it deserves a little bit of credibility. So thank you guys again so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, remember to show your support by clicking that like button. And if you're new to the channel, fight the subscribe button like a champion. Also go check out everybody's links down in the description below as they will be linked down there for you guys to go check them out. Give them some love. Don't be haters. Don't be anything like that. Make sure you represent me as a whole and make sure you said Lemon Raptor sent you. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.